Welcome back to the Portable Podcast, and you are watching the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy, the Sly Guy, Kaboom! Okay, welcome back guys. So, um, right now, we are featuring uh, more classic 4th uh, edition cards and taking a second look at um, artifacts, power, powerful artifacts, which um, shaped the world of Magic the Gathering through the ages. So, uh, before we show you these artifacts, we're going to go through uh, some of these classic cards first. From the uh, collection I acquired... A week ago so uh, let's uh, put these guys aside first and let's go ahead and have a look at our mess of a collection right here of course magics mascot the Herloon Minotaur he's one of uh, magic's um, classic creatures three to cast two three man you can uh, see him in all of the rule books Fireball. Good old fashioned fireball. One of the first combo cards, Channel Fireball, was one of those evil combos that caused a lot of people to whine, complain, and quit the game. Because they would die on the first or the second turn. Oh my. Channel Fireball. Yes. Craw Giant. Ho ho ho. Merry Christmas. One of the biggest Timmy creatures of all, 7 to cast, 6-4, Rampage 2. Rampage means when uh, ever a second creature blocked, it gets plus 2 plus 2 for every other creature blocking it. So the first creature that blocks it doesn't get the bonus, but if you block it with 2 creatures, it gets plus 2 plus 2. Block it with 3 creatures, it gets plus 4 plus 4, and you know, he gets bigger the more creatures blocking him. Wow. Craw giant okay so um right now we're gonna go through the artifacts that shaped magic's history the very first one is the black lotus now uh this uh particular unlimited lotus a very uh good condition than the limited lotus here and okay, they're just holding the card okay um well uh, this allowed the first turn kill combo for channel fireball this allowed you to play first turn herloon minotaurs first turn hypnotic specters first turn everything as also being one of the most expensive cards in magic the gathering today that would be the black lotus put it back in its sleeve getting nervous that should have gotten a top loader for this guy mox emerald and if my top loaders arrive this week, I'm putting these guys in top loaders. So, add one green mana. This, these cards allow you to play your spells faster. By playing a land and playing an additional mox, 
the Moxin definitely allowed you to play everything much faster. And of course, for red, we've got the Mox Ruby. Beautiful Mox Ruby here. Wow. Check it out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Mox Ruby. All right. Next up, for blue, one of the most sought after Moxin, the Mox Sapphire. Oh my god, Mox Sapphire, beautiful, beautiful card, just kind of like the Fireball, yep, cards were really, really uh, beautiful, yep, I played Mox Sapphire right there, and uh, next up, we have the Mox Pearl. Box Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. I promise to get top loaders for these guys. I've ordered my top loaders and they haven't been here in weeks. And finally, Lille Rips Villa Resistance Zemox Jet. Amazing Mox Jet. Absolutely perfect Mox Jet. Right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode once again. This is the Portable Podcast with the Sly Guy. We have a bunch of other Ice Age cards coming later this week. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode.